Hey Saints, um, I want to talk to you about something real quick. Hopefully it won't take up more than 10 minutes of this video. But, um, the reason I want to talk to you is because I took a nap this afternoon and I had a very strange dream. And I prayed to the Lord Jesus about it to try to recall, um, some of the details of the dream, if it is the will of the Father. And I remember, ladies and gentlemen, some vivid details about this dream. I know it was black outside and it was very cloudy. And one of the things I remember is that um, there were various types of demons. At first I saw what it looked like. There was a lot of fire around these demons and meaning like the sky was black, those black trees that were burnt, the sky was red, red as well. First it appeared like a blue sky, very calm, very serene. And then, excuse me guys, Then it appeared like the blue skies was peeling back and it was um, a sky underneath but it was red and black and then kind of like fiery and there was mountains in the back that were charred and fiery and it looked like lava. The reason to believe that that was hell and I saw lots of demons there. But then, here's what happened that really struck me that you guys. The background scene started to get really misty-like. It turned into a thick fog, and then it started to form like a portal. And then the portal was gone, and I saw these demons in this realm. And, and I looked up at the sky, and the clouds were very black. And I saw the demons in this realm, like here in, in the physical. And a couple of things, when I ask the Father, and I use the Word of God to interpret the streams, the first thing is that the blue sky means a counterfeit heaven. Those things counterfeit everything God does. So, um, those things meaning the enemy. The enemy will use the counterfeit heaven as a deception to self-righteous Christians. Uh, self-righteous Christians may have dreams of being in heaven. But if they don't discern correctly with the Lord, that could be the enemy sending them that false dream, showing them a counterfeit heaven. There's the warning, warning from Jesus himself. Self-righteous Christians mean that you have to give your life to Jesus, confess your sins, repent, go through the correction so the sins can be washed away with the blood of the Lamb, and give yourself to Christ and ask for discernment so you're not deceived. That's why I would say to test every spirit, if they are of God or not, you must test the fruits of any person claiming to be a servant of God or get a message or a dream or word from God, even me. Okay? Anyway, not to deviate from the topic at hand, I went ahead and I asked the Father further for inter further interpretation of this dream. Seeing the demons in the hell realm, and then seeing the mist, and then seeing them, this is further interpretation, in this realm, that means that the spiritual realms have been broken down, and demons will be seen in the physical realm, corporeal in this realm, they will be seen real, hard, solid. And the black sky means towards the end of the last days, which these are the last days, but I mean this is gonna this is gonna happen further into this into the last days. Now I woke up from this dream. You know how when you wake up from a dream, ladies and gentlemen, you're dreaming again, but you don't even know it. I woke up what I thought was waking up from my dream. And I had an open vision within this dream. I'm standing in my bedroom window looking outside and I see jets flying overhead, many jets. 
I looked at the emblem, ladies and gentlemen, and they looked like Chinese. Iran, Russia, Turkey. Some even looked like the ISIS Islamic group. I, you know, ISIS? It looked like that. I was shown an aerial view, and I also saw the United States being invaded by sea from the southwest. Iranian Navy struck them first on that section. Then there was the Chinese Navy, and then there was the Russian Navy, and various other navies from various other enemies of the United States. Brazil was among, was among them. Venezuela was among them. Colombia. Cuba. The very same Cuba the United States is trying to, de to befriend. I was shown another view, and this view was within a town or a city within you on U.S. soil. I saw, and I had a dream about this part before, Chinese soldiers, and I also saw Korean. It's a, it's a city that has been destroyed. Destroyed meaning not completely damaged because some of the building um, structures were still intact. Some of the building structures were still intact. So I saw survivors, those that were wounded, those that the soldiers felt weren't strong enough to work in labor camps. They were killed. They were either shot or stabbed. Some of these uh, soldiers had like a long rifle and there was a blade at the end and they were stabbing the wounded with that. Those that would survive the attack were separated. Women with women, children with children, men with men, and they were taken to different camps. The men were taken to labor camps. The women were used for nursing duties. They were taken to uh, houses of soldiers, foreign soldiers, for domestic duties. And some were used, uh, yes, I'm going to say it, for sexual gratification as well. That's the cleanest way I can put it, basically sex slaves. The kids were taken to special educational camps where they were taught doctrines, basically brainwashed. The doctrines they were taught primarily had to do with Islam, had to do with giving their servitude to the leader, the world leader, had to do with serving and anything that they known of Christ, any biblical doctrines, was eradicated from their mind if these kids allowed it to be. You know, the only choice these kids would have being in such a situation is either to die for Christ or go to these re-education camps and only few died for Christ. And most of them went to the education, the re-education camps. I was taken into a different era, the same era, but it was a little bit before this war happened. I saw the stock market crash, economics, global economies wiped out. And then I saw famine pick up in drought in many states and countries around the world and intensified as well as the war. The war we also feared. World War Three intensified. The only thing I remember, I mean, I remember I said a lot of this. I had to write these details down. The dream ended when I saw it on the ground, like, I was standing in a city that was desecrated. I saw on the ground a newspaper headline, the USA Falls. And 
And then I remember a voice telling me, those that do not hearken on to the servants, my prophets, to get out of Babylon, will face the suffering, what is to come. Suffering unlike any man, unlike mankind, excuse me, has ever seen. There will be tribulation on the world. Tribulation is here, has begun. But be of good cheer, do not let your heart be troubled, for your redemption draweth nigh. I remember that. Now, there's many types of tribulation, gentlemen, but the tribulation that Jesus Christ is talking about, I'm talking about Daniel 9, 27, the, the peace agreement between Israel and many nations. That is going to usher in a seven-year tribulation. I believe that I was looking at clips of before the tribulation, how, how rough it got, and after. So... As always, take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. Don't take what I say at face value. Do not believe what I tell you. You must seek the counsel of Jesus Christ. You must seek the counsel of Jesus Christ. Okay? I'm not going to force you. That's a choice you have to make. Ask Jesus if what I tell you is true, saints. Alright, I gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Please stay covered by the blood of the Lamb because these are the last days.